Nats.io is a great lightweight distributed messaging application that's geared towards streaming real-time data sets or applications like in finance or IoT. And it's got a great feature called Jetstream, which allows you to store and replay messages for analytical other purposes. Here, I got a perspective dashboard that's connected to a live Nats IO subject and it's streaming records and visualizing it. Let's see how it works. So in the back, I have a couple of scripts to start one a Nats IO Docker container. So you see, I start the container. I also turn on or pass in a configuration file, which turns on the WebSocket uh, Nats IO port as well. I also have a Node.js producer script, which connects to the Nats, uses the Nats IO uh, core. Uh, it connects to this uh, to the server or to the Docker container. And then it generates random power line data. So this generates like current voltage phase and a location. Then in the main loop, I go into an interval or I set a timer that I keep generating data and then publish to a Nats IO subject at a given interval, which is 250 millisecond here. Okay, let's run this. So uh, let's come here. I'm gonna stop my Docker server. Let's see if nothing is running. Let's run the Docker script. And that starts the Nats IO server. On the other side, let's stop this. This is my node application. So let's go to node and then run the producer script. And this keeps generating records and publishing them to the meters. Now let's come on the perspective site. So I'm logged into perspective.io. Let's start a new project. Go here, start a new project. Let's go to the data sources. We'll delete these. Do NATS. Here in the NATS.io adapter, I can configure this. My subject name is meters, so I'm going to connect to that. And you see the records start pouring in. Now I can actually start, close the source tab. Now I can start configuring this. So I click the title. Here I can group by, for example, location. There's also phase. I can split by phase up here. And I can change the different configuration. So for timestamp, we're going to take the last value. For example, for voltage, we can take mean, same for current, and location, we can take dominant. Now, a couple neat features here. Uh, I can A, if you have another topic, I can keep going and choose the NATS connector and connect to another subject or NATS IO, and that will bring new values in. Or I can just double click or right click this and say duplicate this table and choose different visualization here. So maybe I want to use a candlestick visualization and then have side by side or create a dashboard with different tiles. I hope this is useful. I'm going to post a link to the GitHub for this example and go ahead and try this yourself.